Hello everyone. In this uh, video, I'm going to go over example one of chapter two. And this example is on uh, basic plotting sieve analysis results and obtain some uh, PSD or particle size dist distribution curve parameters. Part, of, part A of this example is to basically plot the PSD curve. And this table here is basically contains the results of the uh, sieve analysis. And specifically, the first three columns are basically the raw data. So you have the sieve number, the corresponding opening size, and the mass retained on each sieve. And so that's basically what you get from sieve analysis. That's the raw data. In columns four and five, these two columns are calculated. So basically using the uh, raw data, you calculate uh, the cumulative mass retained above each sieve, column four, and then get the percent final. To plot the PSD curve, we'll need basically the uh, particle size, which in this case is opening of the sieve as the x-axis, and we'll need the percent final as the y-axis. So let's take these two columns. And so this table here, that's basically column four and five from previous table. And then the opening, as I mentioned, that's your x-axis. And the percent final is your y-axis. And the corresponding particle size distribution curve is shown on the right-hand side. Again, you have particle diameter, which is the opening. And then you have the percent final. Uh, that's a y-axis. Okay, so that's part A. So given this uh, particle size distribution curve, in this example, uh, you are asked to, to determine d10, d30, d60, and then to calculate two coefficients. Okay. And so let's start with d10, d30, and d60. So d10, uh, by definition, is the particle diameter that corresponds to 10% finer or 10% uh, passing. Uh, from this PSD curve, first find the 10% finer on the y-axis. So this is 10% finer. And then find the corresponding particle diameter. So basically you draw a horizontal line. It's going to intersect your PSD curve and the corresponding x-axis is your d10. And similarly for d30 and d60, you start from the y-axis. So I start from say 30% for d30, draw a horizontal line, and get a corresponding x value, which is d30. And same for d60, starts from 6% finer on the y-axis, draw a horizontal line, and then find the corresponding x-axis. And that x value is the diameter corresponding to 60% fine. Okay. So from this curve, we can get for this uh, uh, example one, d10 is 0 0.09 millimeter. d30 from this curve is 0 0.185 millimeter. And d60 is so that's d60 is about 0.41 millimeter okay so that's part b uh, d10 d30 and d60 and once you have these three values then these two coefficients are uh, very easy to be uh, it's very easy to calculate these two coefficients just use their definition so part c uh, this is coefficient of uniformity c sub u and by definition, this is d60 over d10. Okay. And if you plug in the values we just read from the curve, 0 0.41 for d60, 0 0.09 for d10, you get 4.56. So that's the uniformity coefficient Cu. And then for the coefficient of gradation, C sub C, by definition is d30 square over d60 times d10. Okay. And simply substitute the uh, numbers, the values we re read from part b. So that's 0 0.185 
0.4030 square over e60 is 0.41 multiply by 0.09 that's d10 value okay and if you if you work out the math this is 0.93 okay so that's the first example uh, plotting particle size distribution curve using sieve analysis data and then obtain those uh, parameters from this PSD curve.